The comparison will basically show an implementation on a um, Intel CPU versus a NVIDIA GPU. The specifics are that this is going to be a, a split-step Fourier parabolic equation model. Uh, what the capabilities of this is that it models wave propagation at a, a single frequency, but it can handle um, complete range dependence uh, in 2D or 3D. I'm going to show a 2D, some 2D examples. We're going to show you some speedups that we got with a $250 uh, graphics board, and the speedups are going to be roughly 10 to 20. We think this is kind of a realistic test case to show what kind of things are possible with uh, graphics hardware. So uh, we're going to show a couple examples and basically show a race between um, the CPU version and the GPU version. And so the first case is going to be a well-known underwater acoustics uh, benchmark, which is uh, called the Monk profile that refers to the sound speed, which uh, you can see uh, if you follow the cursor. Here's the sound speed. Basically what that, what that shows is uh, depth, sound speed horizontal, depth vertical, and this represents the ocean. And this shows how the sound speed decreases as a function of depth and then starts to increase. And what happens is that the sound is bent toward the slowest part of the profile. And the green area is basically the seabed. Here's the race. Uh, I'm going to give the, uh, the CPU version a 10 second head start and then you'll see how the uh, GPU version uh, catches up with it. And I can keep this running, but I'm going to kill it in the interest of time and uh, move on to the next example. Typically, this case is shown with a flat bottom, but uh, just to highlight the features of this parabolic equation model, I'm showing you that the, uh, the ocean depth is varying at every, every single range. So now I'm going to move on to a very similar example, except in this case, the, this will show 75 kilometers instead of 10 kilometers, but it, it'll be the same exact sound speed profile. Just to show you what this is going to look like, um, what, what you have is that at the 60 kilometer mark right here, you'll see that we have a convergence zone, which basically means that the sound, most of the sound energy has uh, been bent toward the bottom, then it's taken a while for it to uh, to bend back toward the surface and come back. So let's let's go see the uh, the demonstration or basically the race between the CPU and the GPU. So once again, we're going to start the uh, CPU version running um, with a 10 second head start, and uh, in this case, it appears to be moving much slower because it's got a lot more ground to cover, and it's pretty much. Uh, doing the same amount of calculations in the first 10 kilometers as the as the previous example except now it's going out all the way out to 75 kilometers and once again I'll I'll kill this when this when the GPU version finishes I should mention that that these models uh have been benchmarked against uh models using different approaches and uh you know the mathematics has been um, validated this is a famous case where um where the ocean bottom or the seabed uh, starts out flat and then it starts decreasing, the depth starts decreasing and what happens in this case is that the sound um, the sound could be thought of as being made up of uh, normal modes and as it's traveling up slope in this wedge uh, different individual normal modes are stripped off In this case, the uh, CPU version, since it's working at 25 hertz, uh, finishes even before the GPU version, so it finishes less than 10 seconds. The same uh, basic uh, ocean environment with the with the upslope propagation, but I'll show show the modeling at 500 hertz. And I've also scaled the problem so that. Um, and count it in terms of wavelengths. It's a much larger problem. So here's that example at 500 hertz. Now you notice that it, it, it was traveling pretty, the modeling was running pretty fast as it was going through the flat part of the ocean and then when it hit the wedge it slowed down significantly. Well that's because uh, it, can, it can use basically the same setup uh, while the ocean is not changing and then when it, and then when it starts changing through the, through the wedge it has to make adjustments every step so it's, it's doing more work. So in this case the seabed, there's a mountain in the ocean 
and the sound has to uh, go past the mountain. Over here near the surface you can see the impact of that duct I, I mentioned and otherwise the, the sound hits, hits the seamount, bounces up, hits the surface, comes back down uh, past the, um, the seamount and then continues on. So let's see what that looks like uh, in real time. Once again, we're giving the CPU a 10 second head start and we'll show um, the GPU version after 10 seconds. And again, you've noticed that the, um, that the CPU model has uh, slowed down significantly when it hit the C-mount. And again, that's because it's got to do a lot more work when the, when the bathymetry or the seabed depth is changing. So basically, to summarize, um, we've implemented a reasonably complete split-step Fourier parabolic equation for wave propagation and, and underwater acoustics. And uh, we've implemented this uh, using uh, a fastest FFT in the West and OpenMP to parallelize the threads on a CPU. And we've used uh, the CUDA FFT and, and CUDA itself from NVIDIA on the, on the NVIDIA GPU hardware. And uh, although these, these demonstrations are just sort of qualitative, we have, um, we have uh, timed these uh, carefully and uh, measured speed ups of uh, 5 to 25 times with the GPU running 5 to 20 times, 25 times faster than the CPU. And this, this persisted over uh, several generations of CPU and GPU hardware. And uh, if anything, the, the GPU designs are getting better faster than the uh, CPU. That's sort of, uh, that's just an impression based on the fact that only recently the GPU designs have been, um, you know, focused on, on, on improving the uh, scientific computing capability. And again, I'd mention that the uh, Fourier transform is not as well suited as, as some other operations, like for example, matrix matrix multiplies, which, which actually, uh, achieve order, an order of magnitude even greater speed up. So we expect even greater speed ups in other applications.